Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have in the electric circuit shown power dissipated in the resistances R and 2R at an instant after the switch is closed are 9 watt and 2 watt respectively what is the rate of increase in the energy stored in the capacitor at this instant okay so after turning on the switch current flows through the battery to all these two resistances and as well as the capacitor so there is some heat dissipation here mentioned in the question at any instant we need to find at what rate the charge sorry the energy in the capacitor is increasing fine so let us draw the diagram once again so here you can see the diagram so i have considered at that instant i1 current is flowing through the battery getting divided into i3 and i2 and again it, these two current adds up to i1 flowing through the resistance r so according to the question the power dissipated in r that is i1 square r at that at any time t is 9 watt similarly power dissipated in 2r is 2 watt so dividing these two expressions we get i1 by i2 equals to 3 or i1 equals to 3 i2 fine energy stored in the capacitor at any instant or at that instant is u that is half q square by c rate of increase of the energy is du dt differentiating both sides we get something like this q by c dq dt and dq dt is nothing but i3 and i3 is i1 minus i2 right so u dashed or du dt is q by c means capacitor potential difference across the capacitor which is also similar to the potential difference across the 2r resistance okay so we can write i2 times 2r using ohm's law so i1 minus i2 2r i2 i1 minus i2 square and we already know from here that i2 is equal to i1 divided by 3 fine so i1 divided by 3 i1 square by 3 i1 square by 9 fine so 2r times 2 i1 square divided by 9 so we have 4 by 9 r i1 square and r i1 square is nothing but the power dissipated across r that is 9 watt so just put the value of 9 here we get 4 watt fine so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative one more thing this solution was done by one of my student his name is shubham panda and uh, he's a very bright student and initially i solved it uh, using a, a bit longer process so that's why I used his uh, technique and uh, if you like the video please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace